Gauteng's brightest minds are gathering in Johannesburg today. Learners from various schools of specialization across the province will be showcasing their innovative projects at the Schools of Specialization Festival hosted by the Department of Education. The festival gives learners a chance to interact with industry leaders and test how their projects can solve some of the country's problems, such as the energy crisis. New Jim Africa's Zeniko Mshaba is following the story and joins us now live from Mill Park. Zeniko, very good morning to you. It sounds like an exciting opportunity, a platform for young people to contribute to some of the big challenges this country is facing. What are you finding? That's exactly the case, Impo. I can tell you, we've been here for about an hour now. I can tell you that the, 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 the learners that are coming from all regions here in Gauteng seem to be very, very happy about this opportunity they are, they are, they are being given. Uh, we've spoken, we've seen, and we've spoken to some learners that are coming from as far as the Val, uh, that are coming from as far as the north. Uh, that's so Shangube in Pretoria, and others are coming all the way from East Rand. Um, that's that's Postloras, that's Katlahong, that's Spread, and some of them are coming from the Johannesburg region. So what we've seen here is just learners have started now gathering or started um, stationering themselves at specific stalls and one of the stalls we are at right now is a stall of students who want to specialize in sports science so that's one of the things we might not be aware that it can actually be a field or field of specialization because when you think of sport you will initially think of soccer of rugby and you will not think that maybe there's a certain science or there's a certain there's a certain set of specialized skills one will need to have but these learners just told us off camera that actually that's what they want to do that's what they want to specialize in and that's sports science i'm going to speak to some of them so that they can tell us more about what is so special about being a specialist in sports, especially when it comes to sports science. My sister, thank you very much. I see you guys are very busy. Yes. Tell us about where you're from and what you guys are doing and what's your story about and what is it that you, you're expecting to, to, to gain insights on today? Um, hello, my name is Umpimete. I'm from Soshanguve, Block FF, and I'm learning in Lodiam, Rosina Sidibani. Um, I'm the, one of the first learners to do sports science in the school. Well, it was introduced to us in 29, in 2020, and yeah, uh, now I'm in grade 11, and uh, this is my body composition machine right over here, and that is the high blood pressure machine. So um, we are willing to let um, other learners who are who want to become elite athletes. These machines help; they actually help with learners knowing their progress and everything that they want to do they they learn to set goals with this machine so that they become elite athletes yes okay let me bring in, in your your fellow colleague here a fellow professional to be uh, my sister I, I i see that you're from the same school right talk to us about the importance of having access to such great technology this machine tell us what what it's about what it does and what do you know about it but also what 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 made you so interested in sports science Greetings, I'm Tofa Zongwana, doing grade 10 in Rosina Sivan Diva Sports School Specialization. So this is a blood pressure machine. So it analyzes all your systolic, diastolic pulse rate. So it is important to have this machine to know if your to know your pulse rate, your systolic and a diastolic. So this machine, what it does, it analyzes everything and these, it prints out your results just right there. So it, it's important to know if your, your health actually about the blood inside your body. And for sports science, as you asked, it's so important to do. As for me, it's so important for me to do sports science as I want to be a professional sports scientist, actually, you understand? What inspired you? Is it your brother and uncle who play sports? What, what gave you, what, what inspired that interest? to get into sports, especially sports science, and not just being an active player on the field. Oh, what was your question again? So what inspired you to get into sports science? Is it someone from your family? Because you could have chosen to be a player itself or an active member of the sports fraternity, but you want to be a scientist in the sports field. So what inspired that? Umpimit inspired me. I saw how she's passionate about sports science, sports science thing, thing. So that's what inspired me. and. 
I don't regret I don't regret my decision by going to sports science because it's really enjoyable and it teaches you in everything about your body part, your muscles and everything, which is what I need to know in life. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. All the best. Uh, so those are the students coming all the way from Soshang. They want to do, uh, they want to specialize in sports science. That's very, very important for them as they are saying that it's also important for them because it gives them insights on how their body functions. And they also t- took us through the machines that they are using right now, which are machines that are usually used at a prof- professional setup. So it's a very, very great opportunity for them. Uh, throughout the day, we'll be speaking to various learners to in in various sectors, I, we, we saw some of the players here, they are into sports, they are players themselves as you can see, but there are also learners who will be into engineering or who want to get into the engineering space, that's automobile. We also know that the Swana area is also a fatal ground for everyone who wants to get into motor engineering and motor production. So all those things will be will be highlighted, will be unearthed here today uh, at Mill Park. So this one, this, what, this is what it's about. It's a festival of specialized school where learners who are specializing in different sectors, that's arts, that's engineering, that's sports science, uh, that's commerce, all those bright minds are gathered here and we'll have that opportunity to be interacting with them. I can tell you right now, Mpo, by just interacting with them, you, you get a sense that these people know what they're talking about. They, they are very, very passionate. And what I love about this setup as well is that they are coming from different different backgrounds. As I said earlier on, uh, when we started in Port, that some are coming from Soshangova, some are coming from the East Rain, and they are coming from our communities where we grew up, in townships, but they are able to say, hey, we are getting into these spaces and we are making our mark, and we are very, very much exposed and we are already informed, and that's why we've taken a decision to specialize in these sectors in Port. Yeah, very well, Zadeko. We know, of course, that uh, officials within the education sector have been speaking uh, about specialized schools, saying that they'll make a big, big difference when it comes to channeling focus of the future uh, generation of employers, employees, uh, a really crucial space, of course, as we continue to bring the latest developments coming out of that uh, event there. Zadeko Mklava giving us a sense of some of the, the expectations throughout the course of the day.